get my words mixed up the whole way through this. Please bear with me. <laughs> it's apparently something that happens, doing a light vlog and getting your lighting right. It's really hard. I have no facilities to do good lighting. This is the best I'm gonna do, okay? No judgments. <laughs> you wanna see this rig. Lamps that have been placed in bizarre angles. I've decided to do anything in the dark. Silly. You wanna see my soft furnishings to help sound improvements? Are we on? I think we're on. Sweet. Um, I'm Frankie Boyle and I'm a lighting designer and I specialize in immersive experiences with light for brands, uh, events, artistically, whatever you want it to be. Um, but because uh, I <laughs> rely on large groups of people being in large rooms, uh, I'm somewhat quiet at the moment. So if anything, I thought I could at least be helpful in sharing a little bit of knowledge and skill set on how to do lighting in the home and also what an impact light has on our bodies and well-being and it is the key to making us feel positive and energized through this lockdown time and the sun out there is one of your biggest tools okay firstly before i go into all the circadian rhythm and the sun out there i want to just tell you the basics of how light works color light because if you're anything like me you don't take anything on board unless you know the really fundamental details and apparently i like Using this terminology, small fish, big... Our diet of light comes from the sun, which contains all the visible light rays. Now, we only see light when it touches something. That light we know is, is colour. Now, colours are the result of different speeds hitting different surfaces. Now, I do say speeds. Lots of people like to say wavelengths, but the wavelengths for me don't really sit with me well. They kind of go in and out and yeah. I like to think of speed, like blue light character of just like this really muscly hench guy on the starting blocks, 100 meters, gonna go full pelt, full of energy, ready to do this. And then I see the red guy, like at the end with a spliff, really chill, calm, I'm ready, whenever, you know? God, it's not very feminist of me to use men, women as well, you know, guys, I can be both, right? I don't know why I keep going into American. <laughs> now, once we understand all these characters, I don't know why they would have that expression. Now, white objects reflect everything back. Doesn't want any of it, so it comes across white. Therefore, it stays cold. Light is energy. On the other end of the spectrum, black absorbs everything. It's the absence of light. You don't see anything, or you see something, but you know what I mean, you don't see any color. I had an argument with someone the other day, black is a color. No, because color is light. As you can tell, I really wanted to win that argument. But it sucks everything in, it gives no color back, therefore produces energy and keeps warm. Now, if black was a, a cartoon, well, I think it was just space. Light is energy. Old energy, old light, is the result of fossil fuels and petrol and anything that we dig into the ground. That's just light that happens billions of years ago and now we're using it to our best advantage now, or at least shouldn't be. Once we understand these characters and how to use them, we then will use that to create you energy, positivity and feeling good, but, and then relax and unwind into the evening and getting a good sleep. Jump back into circadian rhythm. So the circadian rhythm is only really being understood in the last 20 years. And the circadian rhythm is the thing that keeps your whole body working. Now the sun produces all these light rays throughout the day. Those blue wavelengths are shorter, high energy. Those high energy wavelengths come through the earth atmosphere, hitting, colliding with molecules. Light is only visible when it touches something, allowing light to scatter, which makes the sky look blue. Now, that blue light is what triggers the master clock of our brain to tell us our body clock, our well-being, and the function of all our other organs. Everyone knows that a good day makes us feel great, and a shit day makes us feel shit. Think about your consumption of light like your fruit and veg a day. Get that five a day. Five a day. How many colours in the rainbow? Seven a day. <laughs> Millions of colours. That's the right answer, right? The sun sends signals. Oh my God, there's so many S's. The sunlight sends signals through your skin to all your cells in your body for our energy, positivity, and why we need to be in front of it, under it, in it. I don't know, are we in it? Anyway, terminology, get us all spacey. We've got to get our seven a day. Think of those rainbows. Outside, at least 15 minutes, weirdly, our bodies don't run at 24 hours. We run 24 hours and 20 minutes. The sun is the only thing that constantly resets us. Now, I find it super interesting. Light therapy 
doubles the rate of recovery from depression. That's amazing. You need UV, vitamin D. Is that supposed to rhyme? <laughs> Red light, other end of spectrum. Shorter, longer wavelength. More calm, relaxed, chilled. The sun uses it to slowly wake us up in the morning and then send us to sleep in the evening. She will give you all the lovely, calming, relaxing up into the energy levels, so all the reds into the blues. Blue light rays from about 10 to about 3, generally, depending on where you are in the world. The very reason all this science is saying that we should be looking into our mobile phones at night time because the blue light from the phone stimulates our brains, the master clock, telling all our other organs to be like, okay, we're off. Oh no, we're about to go to sleep. This is where. Okay, quick summary. We need sunlight to allow our bodies and our brains to work in harmonization. If we do not send signals to the correct parts of the brain at the correct parts of the day, the rest of our organs and brain do not know what time of day it is and will not respond correctly. Light is in the blueprint of everything that we do, from growth to evolution to the coding in our computers. Light is what gives us this. I feel, feel like I'm shouting. Am I shouting? I'm sorry. I just like to be really precise about how I say this. Determined for you to understand what light is. <laughs> it's, some could say I was obsessed. I just think I'm motivated. <laughs> Passionate. It's a better word, isn't it, than obsessed? Because otherwise it just makes you look into a bit of a weirdo. We design buildings around it, work ways about containing it. The most powerful thing that we have to our disposal. And I want to tell you about it because I get really excited by light. I point that way, it means I'm pointing at the sun or green or light. The outdoors! So I was now going to talk about indoor lighting and how it should reflect outdoor lighting, but I'm, you know what, I'm going to leave that to a part two because I've kind of overloaded you with a lot of information so far. If you're anything like me, just small packages is fine. We don't need all the information right in one go. Um, but be mindful where the sun comes in, through your windows, through your home, and work accordingly, and stick your head if not arms, just out the window because the sun is picking up from all the cells of your skin and sending signals to your brain even if you don't go outside. Ideally work near the sunlight, getting all those lovely, lovely juicy juicy rays on you and yeah, I'll see you in part two. Woo! Wow, when you stand in one spot, that's a thing. Ooh. I want to use your million a day in the correct way. Oh, look at that rhyme. The light is only visible when you see it. Durr! <laughs> the sun is the most powerful tool. I, I've got to stop shouting. I never say the white, the white, the white word. I never say the white word in the white way. I've noticed that my hair is just going to be all over the place. You can have one seam amount, so I might just end up like a weird scarecrow by the end of this with just hair everywhere. Bear with me. Do anything right now. Bit of fluff. Don't know if you saw that, but there was. There wasn't just me reaching out. Going mad. Oh god, I've spent too long on my own.